Hello students, welcome back to class and we're still in book one, New Interchange book one and we're on unit 12, lesson number four, pronunciation, page 74. Pronunciation, the reduced form of two. All right, I'm trying to teach you how to speak proper English. I'm trying to teach you how to pronounce the consonants, to pronounce the final S, say the sound of the long vowel and the short vowel. And so I'm trying to teach you how to speak proper English. The reason I'm doing that is because you are an, an ESL student. English is not your native language. And so therefore you speak with an accent. You speak with a Cambodian accent. And so it's not pure English. It will be English with a little Cambodian accent. And sometimes the Cambodian accent can mix up with the English and it's difficult to understand. And so that's why I'm trying to teach you to speak fluent American English like an American if possible. But there's the way that I teach you to say it, which is the proper way, and then there's the everyday way that we talk. It's the same in Khmer. So when you hear me speak Khmer, it's because I studied Piasa Khmer at the University of Phnom Penh Foreign Language Center, and I studied how to speak proper Khmer. But that's not how you speak. You speak a different kind of Khmer. You speak everyday Khmer. The same with English. You want to speak American English. Clear, proper American English, the right way, the proper way to be understood. But there are sometimes we actually say things differently. And so, for example, the word to. Many times we pronounce it ta. Ta. And by the way, the T sound makes the t sound. It makes like the Khmer ta. It does not make the ta sound. So it is not three, it's tree. T, because T makes the t sound, not the da sound. But ta. So many times to say two, we say ta. Look at the, the sentences. What should you do for a fever? It's good to take some aspirin. Hear that? The way that I'm teaching you, you would say, it's good to take some aspirin. That is the correct, clear way of speaking English. It's good to take some aspirin. But the way that we say it every day, it's good to take some aspirin. Listen, it's good to take. It's good to take. Ta, we say ta instead of two. Ta, we say it very quick, very quickly. Ta. It's good to take some aspirin, and it's good to see a doctor. All right. I really don't want to teach you bad English, but <laughs> the lesson wants me to teach you how to use the reduced form of two. Okay. So say this after me. What should you do for a fever? It's good to take some aspirin. It's a good idea to see a doctor. I'm going to go back to lesson number three, the grammar focus. Say this after me. Say it after me. To take some vitamin C. To take, my man to take, to take some vitamin C. To put some ointment on it. To drink lots of liquids. To go to bed and rest. To put a heating pad on it. To put it under cold water. To take some aspirin. To take some medicine. To see the dentist. 
to see the doctor. All right? And so this is called the reduced form of ta. The proper way is to. You will always be correct if you say to take some aspirin, to put some ointment on it. You will always be correct. But if you can say it clearly, you can say to go to the drugstore, to go to the market. You can say ta. Not ta, but ta. Ta. All right, so that is the pronunciation lesson, but I'm going to have two more pronunciation lessons after this that I think will help you.